makes its way up the coast. Crews in the upstate are standing by. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford watched that training this afternoon in Anderson County as people there pre prepared to deploy. While Hurricane Dorian isn't impacting the weather here in Anderson County, nearly two dozen people are right here inside the Anderson County Emergency Operations Center training on points of distribution to deploy to the coast. We're going to, to be uh, the hands of the, the community extended. In a packed room. Point of distribution. What other things? Men and women who work for Anderson County, United Way, AmeriCorps, and several other agencies are preparing to deploy. They're all part of a potential team that will run a point of distribution in the Low Country. They'll be handing out a certain quantity of food uh, or water or whatever it might be that's needed in that particular area. And then how to staff it. You know, what are the expectations on a day to day basis? How to start it, staff it, shut it down type of thing in teams of 15 to 20. I'm drawn to, to an event like this, um, to, to reach out into in a disaster situation and try to help. Um, that's, that's my biggest draw. For people like Matt Shell, this isn't their first time. They've joined in to help in the aftermath of a hurricane. County, I've been on two pod deployments, one in the Columbia when we had the catastrophic rains and all the dams breached, and then one in Bluffton in 2016. Both were significantly different, but they, they were operated differently um, and, and very uniquely just based on the space. This training is getting people like him back up to speed while teaching others what they need to know to run a pod. We have so many people here wanting to help. With a room full of skills, each one will add to the team as they lend a hand to the coast. It might be just um, bottled water. It might be um, meals ready to eat, that same type of food that you might find in a military uh, operation, tarps for temporary um, repairs. It just depends upon the needs for that particular community. County officials say they'll know sometime within the next 12 to 24 hours if they'll deploy to Beaufort in the storm's aftermath. In Anderson, Nicole Ford, 7 News. Now, if this is something you'd like to volunteer for in the future, the county suggests joining a more established organization like the United Way or Red Cross because the county then partners with those agencies. And don't forget, 7